how frightful the notion of nothingness is. How we ought to pity those who believe that the voice of friends who weep over friends is lost in the void, unable to find any echo to respond to them. They have never known pure and holy affections. Those who believe that it all dies with the body, that the spirit who has illumined the world with its vast intelligence is a combination of matter that is extinguished forever like a gulp of air, that of the most cherished being such as a father, a mother, or a beloved child, nothing is left but a handful of dust that time dissipates without return. Dot. How could persons of heart remain indifferent to such a thought? How could the idea of complete annihilation not freeze them with terror, and at least make them hope that it is not so? If until now their reasoning has not been sufficient to remove their doubt, Spiritism has come to dissipate all uncertainty regarding the future, by providing material proof of the survival of the soul and the existence of beings beyond the grave. That is why such proof has been welcomed with joy everywhere. Confidence is reborn because people know from this day onward that life on earth is nothing but a short passage that leads to a better life, that their efforts in this world are not lost to them and that their holiest affections are not destroyed without hope. Prayer Dear God, deign to favorably receive the prayer we are asking on behalf of the Spirit of Person's name. Enable him to her to perceive your divine light and render easy the way to eternal happiness. Allow good spirits to take my words and thought to him, her. You who are dear to me in this world, hear my voice as it calls out to give you a new token of my affection. God has allowed you to be delivered first. I cannot grieve this without being selfish, because it would be as if I wanted you to still be afflicted with the pain and suffering of life. Thus, I resignedly await the moment of our reunion in that happier world into which you have preceded me. I know that our separation is only momentary, and that no matter how long it may seem to me, its duration vanishes before the eternity of the bliss that God promises his elect. May his goodness keep me from anything that might delay that desired instant and thus spare me the pain of not meeting you again upon leaving my earthly captivity. Oh. How sweet and comforting is the certainty that between us there is only a material veil that hides you from my sight, that you may be right here by my side and see and hear me as before, and maybe even better than before, that you will not forget me as I will not forget you, that our thoughts may not cease to intermingle, and that your thought follows and upholds me always. May the peace of the Lord be with you.